Welcome back to part three of three of The Sims, uh, the American Dream Challenge, where we began as Slagathor Ambiguous, who was really just a slob. And my God, have I done a lot of grinding since part two. There was about six hours worth of socializing and going on vacations that I needed to complete if I wanted to get to the top of my career track. This was an almost impossible Sisyphean task. This is the most lucrative job in the in the game, Information Overlord, at $1,550 a day. Uh, just honestly has taken a toll on my sanity in order to complete this, but there is no reason to overachieve anymore at work. We have far more friends than I would ever care to have. Uh, and people will call you threatening to stop being your friend unless if you invite them over and send them money and things like that. So I, I wouldn't recommend this job path, uh, sadly. Honestly, I think that up until this point, like the grind to have like to have more than enough for myself has just not been worth it. Uh, but that being said, we've made it all this way. We've got way more money than I'd ever care to have. And I did get a $30,000 payout uh, for like some sort of stock option. I, it seems I've hired the butler too. Um, yeah, I've basically maxed out on everything except for I have no furnishings. Because, well, why have furnishings when you're grinding the career ladder? There really is no point to getting most of the furnishings in this game. Although now I go to work in like a cyborg suit and I, I ride in a limousine. So this is actually rather decadent at this point, which is not really by any of my values. The point here is not to do like what this guy is doing. He, it really hasn't made him any happier. Uh, he does have friends, although there's really no point in having friends when it's just... It's just painful, honestly. So it's really not been a very... I wouldn't recommend it. I think we're basically at the nadir of our journey, but we're about to hit the bridge and things will get better. Uh, we are going to be courting a wife, having kids, uh, furnishing the house, getting walls, get the children to not die, and I've been requested to get a pool. Uh, so I know that's not a very concise set of goals, but those are the goals because this is basically just a like just a garbage tier mansion. It does not look very good. Uh, everything is just a giant steaming pile of crap. So we'll see what we can do with this. Uh, most of the footage, sadly, I'm going to have to scrap, but I did want to go through to the spiritual end. Uh, I may have cheated a little bit. Uh, might have used Rosebud maybe like 15 times, but that's honestly not enough because it was still like six or seven hours worth of grinding. Uh, and that's why I didn't stream part two, sadly. But uh, yeah, that is to say, uh, The Sims 1 is a horribly designed game in terms of like long-term progression as, it, as far as it concerns playing as one Sim, uh, especially someone who is not that nice. What is our, yeah, our sim is not very playful and not very nice. Uh, he is also not very outgoing. So whenever you sit him down in a hot tub with other sims, he just upsets them and they, like, grow farther apart. Which is something I, I, I legitimately should have known uh, before I began this. Although, unfortunately, I did not. So what I think I'm going to do here, uh, we do have more bills than I can really... We have bills that are starting to get expensive too, just because of the sheer number of things I needed to do to entertain myself. So what I think I'm going to do, uh, instead of most of the other things, is let's just go ahead and see which woman likes me the most. Uh, I'm a Bryn. Yeah, nah, that's a man. Uh, uh, that's also a man. Who likes me... Uh, Claire Charming, Claire Charming, our friend Claire from the last time. We are at a 50 for a long-term relationship. We really don't have anything in common, but she's just sort of like the nearest human. So we're going to call up Claire Charming and just court her to be my wife. Uh, because... Great! Okay, so she is totally fine with that so for some reason. Uh, we will accept that. We can recycle this. Uh, and I will serve dinner for Claire when she arrives... Beyond that, let's get the the fish, the swimming pool out of the way. This isn't even, it's just a walk-in aquarium. Although, is she even showing up? Nope, she never showed up. Wow, sad. And it's mid, it's past midnight, so she won't even arrive. Didn't help. Okay, is there any other woman that could potentially... 
be wed to me. Roxy Crisp and I have a pretty good relationship. Okay, I'm willing to... Well, it is past midnight. I think what we do from this point forward is basically just stop going to work. Whoops. Don't do that. Wake up. Slagathor, wake up. The thing I don't like about... Uh, I don't like that this game gets overcomplicated when you start to add in too many variables. You really gotta play with multiple sims. It's just not worth it to go it alone. The beginning is funny, but then it just gets kind of crazy. Potentially the maid as marrying the maid. Be uh, which person that I harassed? Do you mean everyone? <laughs> Practically every, like, if you want to make friends with someone in this game, you do things that you would be put in jail for in real life. It is honestly upsetting. Let's just call her again and miss work today. Claire Charming, come over. Come on, Claire Charming. Now, we're also going to buy a lot of things that we don't need to impress women. Um, this does actually work. Uh, in real life. Here we go. Here we go. So get out of the fish tank because your guest is arriving. Unfortunately, it takes him way too long to get out of the fish tank now. Yeah, see? She's already gone. Like, it wasn't even worth it. I think that this might be the, the message of The Sims, though, is that... Like, as you start to lean toward, let's say, decadence, your possessions begin to own you. You know, like, why does it take so long to get out of my walk-in, uh, swimming, whatever it is, fish tank? I do want to say that I, I read that somewhere once, that, like, the more expensive things break down more. Yeah, it is a little Tyler Durden of me. Also, let's go ahead and buy an actual door to woo this woman. All right, let's get, uh, the most expensive doors... There we go. I'm going to buy the expensivest doors. And let's also, like, get out a, a nice floor path. To woo the women. I'm going to put out some better looking stones because women love stones. Uh, let's see. Facts. Um, hmm. I guess I could use more plantings or something like that. I could also probably use a fountain to impress this lady. Uh, let's also give the outside an actual, like, wallpaper, which, I mean, it, well, it won't be wallpaper, but I think you know what I mean. What is the most impressive one? No, that's too expensive looking. That also just looks bad. Uh... No, that doesn't look good. Nothing really looks good in mass. That looks slightly better than the other one. Okay, we'll just use stucco. We'll just use a generic shade of stucco for the entirety of the house. And then we will put in, can you believe it, actual windows. Wow. Could we put these, face them out? Mmm, that's nice. Ooh, ooh, I love that. Ooh, look at that. The way that they face outward. That's really nice. Mm. This music is, like, maybe a little too somber for me. We could use... Mm. Yeah, just get out of building mode. Get rid of that. All right, the elegance level has risen. Decadence. Elegance. Now, we need to talk to her about her interests and then gradually, like, uh, uh, without her really realizing it, uh, insinuate her into a sort of romantic relationship. I think this is how it works. Surefire in The Sims. I, I really haven't done this in a long time. Okay, good. So now she's... Oh, she wasn't even my friend before. Never mind. Just keep talking about interests. Never trust the Sims to go on autopilot. Okay, so she's not very happy with that anymore. She wants more. Uh, we will serve her lunch. She enters. Is she in the scuba dive? Okay, so she's entering. Good. Go ahead and do some scuba diving, and then when you come back out... Uh, come on out. Where's she at? Okay, unfortunately, I can't get into the scuba diving pool with her. I guess I'll just eat alone without her. 
She's calling me at my house, but she's in the swimming pool. Telling me that she's not my... You can't call me from my own swimming pool telling me that you're not my friend anymore. Because I'm not talking to you while you... It's not even a swimming pool. It's a, it's a fish tank. What am I saying? But look, she, now she's eating my food. That is like the most entitled guest of all time. Just the level of arrogance here. The sheer level of arrogance. My own energy levels are dropping. All I want to do is talk to you. She doesn't like money, but she just got out of my fish tank. <laughs> I know, the call is coming from her house, too. This is like that person from David Lynch's Lost Highway who calls him when he's staring right in, standing right in front of him. Very scary moment. Okay, so she's not happy with this type of treatment anymore. She... I don't understand her. Okay, so what did she... She's decided it's time to eat another plate of my food. I will also eat another plate of my food with her. Oh no, we weren't sitting at the table at exactly the same time. Let's just talk to her again. So it's mostly just spam and harassment to befriend someone in The Sims. Uh, let's wake up. Other, that's not very nice. That's not very nice to your guests. Just avoid the sleep and stop being narcoleptic and talk to her. Um, problematically, problematic. No, no, don't, don't uh, kill my vibe. The grass is, is so helpful for uh, getting people to like you. I don't have any money either. I don't have enough money to furnish this large house. <laughs> okay, I've fallen asleep standing up. I'm going to wake up. I do actually, unfortunately, have to go to work tomorrow, but that's okay. We'll let her go home. Uh, we have to keep going to work every other day. And I may fire the butler. Yeah, he is doing some tasks. Basically, he just turns on the robot every day. How am I torturing him today? Well, actually, the one thing I did figure out, some of you guys had suggested that I use the potion table. Uh, I don't know, the one thing, this challenge kind of, like, died for me a little bit after I got past the, like, personal grinding phase. You know, I think I enjoy that when he's, like, living on his own. And then after that's over, it just starts to become... Oh, gosh. Here we go. It just gets to be, like, the game was not made for one sim to be living like this. Which is why we need another one, in my opinion. Back from another thrilling day at work while I lose all of my friends. Uh, I guess I'm going to just continue to call her. I've just peed myself and that... I swear to God, like, all the people that I talked with, I spoke with at such length that I peed myself mid-conversation so that they would like me more. Okay, I'm going to continue calling this woman who keeps threat. I'm sure that this won't be a conflicted marriage if it should work out. Although we need to do, like, very sexy things together if if we want to like each other, right? Um, yeah, see, she just doesn't really come over. Call neighbor. Claire Charming. Look, she doesn't even come over. She lies. Poor Claire is at work. Oh, shoot. Never mind. All right, well, let's see if we can court a different woman. Someone who is maybe, like, more similar to me. Where, where are the good women at? <laughs> let's get Roxy Crisp. We got along pretty well. Crisp. Hey, Roxy Crisp. Tommy Jellybean. Wait, are they? Oh, they're probably married. Damn. Damn. I keep finding... Is Claire Charming married? Do you, can you break up other sims? I, I could get like, uh, you know, we could fornicate or something like that, right? Wouldn't that be a good time? Everybody loves a little good fornication. Um, ooh, more bills. Oh my god, how much are these bills now? $900 for bills every single time. 
just this whole decadent lifestyle. I almost feel like I should just sell this entire house and move into something like simpler. Did I get one of the, I did get the lucky phone calls. Thank you. Marriage isn't a pro, oh really? I can just go in for it? All right, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. After all, I have to go to work only once every other day. I just make my own weekends. It's okay, I just set my own schedule. Aren't I the boss of the world? But yeah, it's getting to be exorbitantly expensive to be me. Just like, I think I'm going a little bit mad. Should we leave this house? I feel like we should sell this house. I can't even afford to live here, even with my insanely expensive job. Look, I mean, just it's worth $67,000. Would I just be better off selling my home? I think I asked for too much. I think I asked for too much. <laughs> yeah, maybe like a small but very well-decorated home. You know, I somewhat agree with you. Like, I'll keep my creativity even if I have to quit my job. And canonically, I feel like this would work better for Slagathor. Just what a horrible life I've given myself, you know? Now I'm a slave to this job. Every day I may get picked up. It's just like I've exchanged one form of slavery for another. I think what we have to do is, well, we have to sell our house. How else would I, you know, I need something smaller and more well decorated, you're right. Where should we buy? Ingleside Drive, that looks good, that looks cozy. Those ones look, I feel like I could do a little bit better than that, but Claire Char- You know, I could move next door to Claire Charming. You know what? Ooh, Old Farm Circle looks nice for us. The Oak Villa, a home designed for dinner parties and gathering with friends. I think, I think Old Farm Circle, well, don't forget, we're going to try to woo her. This is more like it. This is the right size home for Slagathor. It was too much. I wanted too much. I'd be happier with something smaller. Yes. The answer is yes. Let's leave here. Or, hang on a second, let's go back out to the neighborhood. I'm going to evict myself. Uh, let's go ahead and evict. I'm going to evict. Ambiguous family has a net worth of 64,000. Great, so we'll have plenty of money. No, I will not bulldoze the house. It will remain there as a memory of my mistakes. All right, now if we go to select a family, let's take the ambiguous family and we'll move them in here to old farm circle. Great. Oh, the life. See, this is much better than what I had been living through before. I don't think I like that build your own home stuff. I'm not a very good architect. Yay, floors. <laughs> Yeah, it didn't really look very good. Yes, this is much, much better. Although I think I've lost my job, unfortunately, but who cares? Oh, no, I do. I do still actually have my information over Lord Job. That's great. This house is very nice, even though that it was less expensive than my last one. It is, it is indeed better, I think. I think you're right. Better off here. We can go ahead and buy the best appliances, too. Let's give ya boy the best appliances. We'll get a good fridge. Good fridge. We'll get rid of this shit tier stove, and we will get a, um... Oh, we don't really need a sink, do we? No, I suppose that we don't. No, I suppose we don't. Uh, let's go ahead and buy the two wide range. There we go. We'll get rid of that trash. We'll get the better trash compactor. There we go. And then we'll get rid of that dishwasher and use this dishwasher, which is obviously better also. Uh, we still have $42,000. There is no bathroom. We need that. You're right. Can't really see the bathroom. 
Do you think this is enough room for ch No, this isn't really enough room for children, but whatever. We'll move into a different house. Uh, let's get a, uh, let's get some ceiling lights. We won't have chandeliers in every room anymore. We'll just have regular fan lights. I really hate these, but they look, uh, situationally appropriate. There we go, much better. Not, well, not really, but somewhat. Don't question it. Uh, we will go with the, we'll, we'll go with the sexy bed. I mean, all of the beds at this tier level are pretty sexy, not gonna lie, but... Please turn the way I want you to. There we go, good. There's hardly any room to get into it. We might have to put it in the living room as well, but whatever. Man, that is really much too large an entryway. I think we can afford... Yeah, since we don't have, like, these huge walls anymore, we can actually afford to have nice things. There we go. That's where that belongs. Then we can put in... Maybe this will be, like, a dining area. Or this could be the living room, maybe. Yeah, we'll have that. Great. Great. I think we can afford the best of everything now. The best. It must be the best. Yeah, nice. Nice, living large. I mean, we are trying to get good furniture, right? Like, what's the point in not? Put the phone over there. Uh, we will do... Well, we'll need a burglar alarm for every room because we are rich now. You know, but we aren't living above... We aren't trying to get a giant mansion yet. We're just trying to woo a woman. Uh, this is my bachelor pad. Uh, that's definitely going to need a fire alarm. And I'll just put one in every room, because uh, stuff happens. Very nice. Very nice. Put a burglar alarm outside in case if someone tries to steal the pool. Yes, this is like a Slagathor level home. Uh, we could also have a robot butler. I'm not against that. We'll put that inside, just because I don't want any thieves to take it. I mean, I think we're safe, but just in case. Uh, okay, so we've got that, that... Oh yeah, we don't have a bathroom yet. We need a bathroom still. Everything will be gold-encrusted in the bathroom. See, at least these textures work together. Uh, some of the wallpapers are really quite horrible in this game. Ah, now this is much more soothing to my ears. I don't think the the best toilet really gives you anything that much better, unfortunately. Uh, I'll do the regular shower as well. And then, now we don't really need any skill objects anymore, so... Uh, man, look at that. That is a sexy tub. Okay, and then we will get a, uh, we'll get some kind of dining room table. Yeah, we'll get a really nice one too, just to wow her. Surprise her with your wealth. Hmm, and then we'll use very expensive chairs that I can't pay for. One for you and one for me, so it's extremely confrontational. I believe that's it. I think that's all we need, yeah. Yeah, like, a much better house, honestly. Much, much better. There we go. It's not huge. It's the perfect size for Slagathor. In comparison with the last one. I know it It looks very decadent, but at the same time, like, you know, he's, he's earned it by now. He's earned it. The one thing I, I may actually change, though, I think I'm going to get rid of... Uh... What am I going to do with this? Just, this is hard to see. Okay, I'll put it there. That works. It's a little bit better. Now I can actually see the toilet when I poop. Oh, it's already in use. Never mind. 
Okay, cool. Phew. Oh, yeah, thank you, Food Bowl, for the... Uh, here we go. Yep. Cool, and also a pet bed. Uh, we will put those in the living room. Uh, somewhere, like, a little bit out of the way, and there... Cool, there we go. Nice. In comparison with the last home, this is low income. <laughs> Just because it's not as big. <laughs> I know, and we are, like, mired in wealth. Although, square footage-wise, this is a pretty, like... This is a pretty, uh, what is this? One bedroom plus an entry. Kind of like the size of two bedrooms, really. Two bedroom. Call it, like, a two bedroom house. It's like one, one and a half bathroom, bedroom one. The square footage is not very good, but like, uh, it does have a pool. And everything is basically like the richest possible object in the game. So there is that. Yeah, you are right. Yeah, we are pretty spoiled. Uh, but, uh, you know, we've earned it. We've worked for it. I just simply couldn't afford to decorate that other house on my own. All right, let's see if we can uh, just bother this woman more. Good. Okay. She's coming over. All right, I'm in my thong to surprise. All right, I will do a polite kiss to show that I um, am very physical, but, uh, you know, I, I also am able to show manly restraint. Wow. That is the most awkward thing. Wow, just like that, I made a new family friend. All right, uh, she is at, let's see, 56 level. So I don't think that that's close enough that we could potentially be soulmates yet for a while. So let's just continue talking to her about money. She, uh, I'll talk to her about boats, but she just, she does like flowers. She likes coffee and pizza eating and coffee. You can find out about Sims and get their interests, though, too. You could, like, try to match yourself with somebody with the right interests, which you really should do. Uh, I simply don't have the patience for it, though. Okay, so now we have, like, a greater variety of group activities. So she is in the pool, so I will basically... Uh, wait a second here. No, she's gotten out of the pool. Where is she now? Okay, she's gone to the restroom. What is she going to do? No, get out of the pool and eat food. Do exactly whatever she is doing. We just have to basically stalk her for the next, like, 25 minutes. Here we go. We'll just con confrontationally eat this caviar that I made for you at my expensive table. Oh, my God. Was it even worth it? <laughs> Why do you like parties? Love parties. Okay, great. Do you like... Ha party hats. I like <laughs> ties. I, I don't like high heel <laughs> shoes or sunglasses, but she does. Uh, okay, well, we don't really have anything in common, but you happen to be the person that I'm close with. Please stay. All right, let's see what else is she going to do. At least this is a pretty good house for, like, getting to know other Sims. She's going to out there. She doesn't even like that dog. Oh, whoops. Uh, you know what else I got to do now that we got the new house? You know what I gotta do. Yeah, stay away. Also, August. Thank you very much for the sub. Let me turn back on notifications. I'm sorry about that. I've had that off for a while. Ah. Ooh, put the chairs at slightly off-centered positions across... Yeah. Does that... Actually, does chair position, like, affect their relationship making? Oh, good. We about to Netflix and chill. She doesn't like, what is that, peace? See, this is what is problematic about my sim is that I, I think they start to hate each other when they're just sitting there doing nothing. I should have made him nicer. You know, he had all the qualities to like grind his way to the top and be ruthless. But now when it comes to getting to know people, he just hates everyone. He's just full of spite. Honestly, like this is uh, this is maybe too autobiographical for for comfort. I've been grinding to the top now, and now I'm full of spite, boys. 
<laughs> Finally, some relatable content. Oh, God. At least we can agree that we like parties. Like, one of us will want a peaceful party, one will want a warlike party. I mean, she would like me to throw a party, right? I don't think that this is a very good person to get into a relationship with, but... Okay, so now we are, like, ideal friends. What do we do next? What is the next step? H try a hug. Try just a regular friendly hug. Oh, don't worry. Just a normal hug coming your way. Now try an intimate hug. Okay, that did work. All right, let's try a romantic hug. I don't understand the difference between intimate and romantic. What's that? No, I don't think that was... Oh, no, that was accepted. All right, it's time for bed. Goodbye. All right, so we will sleep again. It's looking good, boys. Slagathor, basically, he's Patrick Bateman, yeah. <laughs> Every day when I wake up, I, I begin with a, a facial cleanser, and uh, it keeps my pores from getting too big and puffy. Then I do a thousand, and then I do sit-ups. I can do a thousand now. My name is Patrick Bateman. I am simply not there. <laughs> She's definitely a crusader. Although I feel like that the the Sims games were made for like you know this type of interaction. You're supposed to be like getting it on with another Sim, and then basically forming an alliance. Guys, I live in a low-income housing environment. Remember how poor he was to begin this challenge. Sixty-four. Although she is already accepting like uh, sexual advances. Hang on a second. So we've got six forty-five a.m. Uh, is the work car still gonna come pick me up, or am I fired now that I've moved? Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to. I'm basically like the leader of the entire world, right? Isn't that my job? I'm about as close as you could be to the... Well, no, I think you need the politics career job. You can become, what is it, the president in the end of that? The one thing that I'll say is kind of depressing about The Sims 1, and I would like to do this in The Sims 2 instead, because The Sims 2 has just enough, like... The Sims 2 isn't so watered down and easy... I mean, it's way easier than this, but this game is too hard. Like, it is a flaw of this game. But it's not overcomplicated yet, and you could still get stuff like growing up. You know, like, your sim can die, but you can also take, like, immortality potions in that, I'm pretty sure, too. Right, let's just basically keep bothering this woman until she's forced to marry me. Uh, cool. Okay, so she's got nothing better to do. See you soon. Oh, cool. So she's bringing stuff now. So she's brought a present. Uh, thanks, I guess. All right. Uh, what is that? I'm not really sure. All right, we will talk to her about interests, and then we'll just c begin hugging. Friend, Wait a minute. Cheer up. Encourage. Like I said, oh, she brought something. Oh, my God. This is something that can be eaten. We can eat the box. Wow. Look, what a normal way to eat that. <laughs> it looks like they're just they're just open palming whatever is in there. All right, now I will give you an intimate hug over the chocolate that you gave me. I don't know what you need to be cheered up by. Two intimate hugs in a row. Whoa. It could be, ch it's chocolates. Uh, who picks up chocolate like that, though, without moving their fingers? All right, that is a normal hug. Ermaluk, thank you very much for the two months. Okay, here comes another hug. Whoa. Whoa. All right, uh, it might not be time for the exchanging of bodily fluids yet, but let's attempt. Okay, wait a minute. Never mind. You're not as much of a hug person. I really have to pee. Okay, <laughs> let me go handle that. 
She doesn't really want to speak. She also has to pee. Man, we really should have gone for the two-bathroom house. Why am I... Oh, yeah, I forgot that I didn't sleep. Let's just continue talking to her, though. I guess try suave kiss. That seems more or less risky than the other ones. Okay, that didn't work at all. Uh, that actually negatively impact our, impacted our relationship. Let's just continue talking about pizza. Good, you might be in the mood for a kiss again soon. I'm going to sleep. Uh, okay, so 65 relationship. I'm pretty sure that when we get to long-term relationship 100, we'll basically... We're in. We're in, fellas. Oh, if I pee on the floor? Well, there were other sims where I would just be talking to them directly, and I would pee in front of them, you know, like, to intimidate them. And that made them become my friend. There we go. I've peed in the dining room again. Let's have the robot butler clean that up. Guys, sooner or later, even the bidet will be, like, a... Uh, an ancient piece of technology. You'll just have a robot butler clean up all of your, uh, all of your urine instead. There we are. Okay, we will not go to work today. We will just call up that lady. Uh, let me just take a shower, though, before she gets here. And maybe I'll even sleep a little more. Okay, phone, phone answer. Uh, I did miss work today, but whatever. Basically, I just have to keep going every other day. I tell them, like, I can't come to work. I'm trying to find a wife. Sorry. I'll come in tomorrow. Can you promote me so that I can look good? Oh, wait a second. We've lost access to the robot butler because it's slightly out of the way. Whoops. It's okay if you pee on my floor. I'll just have my robot butler clean it up. Wow, very impressive, AA. Wow. Uh, hang on a second. It would be nice if we could, I don't know, do something nice together, like... Hang on a second. Can you get out of the pool to speak with this lady? Get out of there. Run out. Chase her. Greet her. There we are. Good. Oh, Hello. Like thank you that. for another present. This is my thong. Thong, th thong, thong, thong. In the future, waste will be teleported out of my body. Uh, we could... Let's try a lively dance. <laughs> that seems like a normal way to greet someone. Before you eat, let's do a lively dance together. Facts. This is how I actually woo women. IRL. And it works. It works. Uh, I don't see any lively dancing. So he's basically at a hundred. So can he, if he goes in for like more romantic types of things, friendly hug. Try a polite kiss. What does that do? 60. Nope, that didn't work out very well. Interests, interests. I don't think that these two sims are very compatible at all, to be totally honest with you. He's actually not getting along with her very well. I might have to, like, court multiple women at once to see which one I'm compatible with most, because I don't think that this one is going to work out very well. Let's invite over uh, someone else to make them compete for my love. Uh, who is not married? That is literally the only criteria right now. Just, I'm giving up on you, lady. Uh, let's see. Strange. Prudence Strange. Aisha Strange. Who was the one we were friends with? Nina Menken. Nina Menken might work. 19. Roxy Crisp. What about Margaret No, uh, what about, okay, what about Emma Heinlein? Yes, she does appear to be single. Okay, I'm going to invite over a different woman while you're here to make you jealous. 
Here we go. Fact. That looks like Grandma Hattie from the, uh, just the dress from the GBA version. <laughs> beg, beg. Wait a second. She's leaving. Okay, well, at least she gave me chocolate. I got chocolate out of that woman. Man, it's like, ah, uh, you've climbed the whole career ladder and then courting women is just so hard. Like, there's this whole different set of expectations, you know? It just makes me bitter and resentful. <laughs> Would I be able to get the... Oh, yeah, chemistry set so you can make somebody fall in love with you, right? Oh, or we could just use magic. Yeah, we could do that. That's... Honestly, that might be a better solution. Uh, you know... Okay, alright, okay, fair, fair. That is... That is true. We could do that. I don't know why I hadn't thought of that before. Um... Hmm. I believe it's 980 or so. 980 or so. Uh, here we go. 980. Let's just use science to make someone like me or in magic. Uh, okay, and we're going to buy... You know, I didn't use it to get rich. So I, I declare this to be an acceptable way of getting rich. I'm going to get a lot of very cheap tables. And then you know what I'm doing with them. Like, basically the equivalent of Match.com, uh, but in The Sims, you know, like, export it to technology in order to find them. I'm going to use multiple genies in order to find love. I haven't done this yet. <laughs> A potion that maxes out all mood... Uh, I did get the one where you max out three moodlets. That was the only one I've gotten so far. Uh, but let's see, 4,200. I think that's enough to get a bunch of genie lamps. Because genie lamps... I mean, who cares if we have a few enemies? If one person likes us, then that's basically, like, end game, right? So I will just get someone to love me through by wishing for it in magic. I think that this is a funnier alternative rather than what we were doing before. You know, I tried buying impressive things. I tried everything that I could. I tried wooing them, but I, it, unfortunately, I'm just too abrasive from grinding for too many years. I... Uh, I've been on the Sigma male grind set too long, guys. Right, I'm too depressed for that. Fortunately, you can't be too depressed to talk to genies. Uh, I will wish for work. All right, let's go ahead and keep cleaning genie lamps. Uh, what is the... Oh, he actually took away skill points. Yeah, I forgot. Leisure is the one that you want, but it doesn't make much of a difference now. I believe Earth is a little bit less risky here. Because it just gives you plants. Yeah, okay, so all he did was kill my plants. It's time to go to work, though. I can't consult the genies any longer. I'm going to work in my limousine. Where people will believe the true things I have to say. No, no, well, it's okay. Some Most people will hate me, but if I can get even one person to like me, then it was worth it. Uh, we'll still continue, maybe, with Claire Charming, because it seems to be going more or less okay, but not that great. Oh, Sims like to drink your potions. Oh, yeah, I, you're not supposed to have it uh, outside, right? You're supposed to have it, like, inside the house so that the police don't see you doing it. There we go, yeah. Can't you get, like, fined for using potions? All right, it's time to clean more genie lamps. Okay, let's try love. Okay, let's try female. Oh no, he made her hate me. That didn't really make any difference though. Just like all that she did was become not family friend. Female. Okay, so now she's in love with me. Okay, I have wished for love. There we go, fantastic. 
Claire is now in love with me because I used a genie to cast a spell on her. I'm not sure it's a very honest way to get... Uh, well, oh no. I didn't want it, apparently. Good, this is exactly what we wanted. <laughs> it's not a metaphor for... It's not a metaphor for drugs. <laughs> In closing the yard, connecting the fence to the house. Says, oh, that's not a bad idea. Oh, like so that they actually have to come in. Hmm. I should do that. Anyway. Let's wait until we've gotten in with this lady. Okay, so she's okay with that. She's hanging out for a bit. We can't really ask, come, no, I can't really do that. Well, let's wait until she gets out of the bathroom. I am getting a little bit tired. Talk about magic. She doesn't even like any of the things, but we've now wished for her to love us. Talk about interest, talk about interest, talk about interest. I wonder if this will even continue, though. Like, she is in love. But does it make a difference? Um, hmm. Oh yeah, by rule of genies, you can't ask them for love. I'm not sure if those rules apply here, but yes, I do believe that for real life genies, that doesn't work, you're right. I think that, aren't, you, aren't there also potions that you can use though too to like max out your love? We should go use the chemistry set once we get better logic. Or I've got max logic, I think. Where is my logic? Yeah, max logic. That's good for potions, right? No, I don't have to go to work today. I can go to work tomorrow. I went yesterday. Thank you for thinking of me, though. And then I'll watch TV. After I'm done eating. I think I have decent cooking skills. They're not perfect, but okay, there we go. I've peed myself. It's okay to miss one day. I've basically made it a habit, but no one cares. Man, just being able to eat food while watching TV in The Sims 2 was stupid OP. Like, that really was a game changer. Okay, we'll clean this up. Uh, then just turn this on. Okay, so let's go ahead and make potions. What is it, the pink potion that gets people to like us or something like that? Oh, thank you. Uh, fire. Oh, yeah, and it is right next to the main bed. All right, let's make one potion and see it. That, well, let's just save before we're done. I don't want to set my bedroom on fire. That would kind of suck. You're right. Okay, so blue potion maxes out a bunch of motives. Let's just go ahead and see. Cool. Honestly, not bad motives to get uh, maxed out. Let's build a sketchy shack out in the back. It's a good idea. Thank you. Maybe we'll put a couple of them out there. Hmm, how many can I afford? Four. Should be about, about the amount of room that I need for a shack, like a very sketchy potion shack. Uh, and I will put a completely normal door on the front of that. Men only. <laughs> no, there it is. Okay, there we go. And we can bring this into the shack in the back. Woo, shack. All right, good, now I have a secret lab. Uh, I do also need, uh, where is it, the fire alarm? Uh, burglar alarm I'll get next. I don't think I'm going to be burgled anytime soon though. Okay, so that's just going to max out more motives. Hopefully, hunger I'll get. Yes, I did get hunger. 
Make more potions. This one's still... Oh, I messed up. Gotta repair it, but I have good mechanical skill, too. Hmm. Okay, green potion. So we do have different potion colors. I just gotta look this up. Uh, hang on a second. Potions in The Sims 1. Okay, so the chemistry table... Blue raises your motives. Uh, yellow reverses your personality. We want to be careful with that. Red makes your worst enemy of the opposite gender in the neighborhood fall in love with you and appear next to you. Purple turns uh, Sim into a monster for three to four hours. Orange makes you invisible. Dark green makes an evil clone of me. Oh god, and light green is- this is perhaps the most dangerous of potions. This one makes you, like, starve to death. Uh, we want to be very careful with that. Could probably kill another sim with that. I mean, can we- should we just try to get a girlfriend the normal way, rather than trying to accidentally making evil clones of myself? <laughs> oh my god. Why am I so alone? <laughs> Invite over it. No, Claire is at work now. <laughs> I don't think we should eat that one. Yeah, this potion is the one that causes you to, like, starve to death. Hmm. I think let's just propose marriage. That seems legit. Like, that'll work, right? I mean, she's already in love. Here we go. Think of the evil clone content. That would be kind of interesting. You're right. So what does the evil clone do? Hang on a second. Uh, dark green. Evil clone of the sin which will wander around and eventually disappear. Mean in mean interactions on any people there, even the original self. As a result, the Sims relationships. Well, you do get ghosts if one of your Sims dies. Wait a second. Why are you not? Get, let's go. Go to work, man. Here we go. Come on. I feel like I'm making some sort of like drug factory now. <laughs> this looks very Breaking Bad. <laughs> Jesse, we have to cook. These are kind of getting in the way, though, man. You know, we're going to just move these genie tables over to the side yard. I just, I don't feel right. I feel kind of exposed with these here. Get rid of the genie tables for now. Here we go. Good, say goodbye. I mean, they'll still be there in case if we want to use them later, but goodbye for now, genie tables. We'll get rid of some of them. Walter White playthrough. I do believe you could sort of play as Walter White. Let's just see if we can get her into our life, though. It might just be that it's insanely grindy, in which case, like, that's just kind of what we have to do. Yeah. This is basically how I spent, like, six hours on my own. But I'm kind of curious if we... Oh, dude, your, your free will is really annoying. Like, I just told you to greet her, and then you... Look, he just cancelled his own order again. There we go. Oh, I love this. Oh my god. Look, you are slightly growing closer to me, though. 69 relationship. Okay, let's try friendly hug. That's likely to not get rejected horribly. Yeah, he's so tired from work, though, too. Uh, maybe espresso machine. Regular things. Try intimate. No, it doesn't really like it. Oh, it might be because I haven't showered in a while. Could it be that our relationship is that advanced already? Oh, 67. I just can't find love. 
Man, isn't there any, like, cheat code or anything that you can use to make someone like you? We couldn't even get to that part. I, is it just going to be that he gets bitter and lives alone? Gift and someone rings will plus 25 relationship top and down. Oh, really? Where do you buy rings? I didn't know that you could do that. Where to buy rings, Sims 1. Can you do that in the first, Sims? Really? Oh, wait a minute. I'm getting real life sales. Downtown shop, really? I didn't know that. That's sick. Whoa. I would easily give up my robot butler for that. Hmm. Maybe I'll do that instead of all this expensive furniture. I said, let me sell my chemistry set. Hmm, okay, now I need to go to work today, but then at the end of the day, I'll go to the downtown shop and buy a ring. Thank you for telling me that. I didn't know that I could do that. Man, I swear, I learned so much just playing with you guys here on Twitch that I wouldn't know. <laughs> they sell IRL rings that are the plum bob and emerald. That is actually kind of a cool ring. <laughs> Okay, cool. So 1550. Okay, so we go to the downtown shop. Ah, oh, neat. Okay, so let's call a cab. Uh, go downtown. Cool. Getting a taxi. Going downtown. Uh, save the house in its current just trashed here condition, whatever. Uh, okay, so where do we buy a ring? Sim City Beach. Toxic water. Uh,. Town center, uh, family value for the whole family. It doesn't really sound like it. Tourist attraction, maybe. Fret now, that doesn't really sound like it. Uh, what else? Uh, shopping locations. The center. Land grab mall. Okay, here it is. Solana Town Center. Not here, right? Old Farm Square. Okay, so we go here then. Shopping for the whole family. And we buy her a, a ring? This is kind of neat. Where would we buy a ring here? Thank you very much, Beak B. Middle building with the... Uh, not that one, the one right from that one. Oh, whoops. So is it not uh, here? Maybe it's in a different spot. Uh, go somewhere else. Uh, where do we go? So, like, here? Uh, land grab... Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Like, the mall. Yeah. That seems legit. Yeah. Looks good. Alright. Looks like a candy store. Then sir, some sort of, like, bear store. This could be it. Yeah, this is looking like it. Some sort of, like... Yeah, Tiffany. Who works at Tiffany? Clerk... Plato. Hmm. Braz for I guess buy. Oh yeah, this is looking very romantic. Uh, where do we do this? The pink shop, right in here, right? Yeah. I guess I have to rotate the screen around though. Mm. Okay, so here there is a diamond ring display, so a thousand for that. We buy her a thousand. Honestly, a thousand dollars for a diamond ring is not is pretty, is pretty reasonable. That's pretty cheap. I've heard some pretty, some pretty freaking expensive diamond rings. All right. Okay. So now we have the thing. Uh, do I need one for me? Let me get, like, multiple diamond rings, just because I could probably use them, right? Let's get a necklace, too. Let's get a lot of bling and another diamond ring. And then what else have I got on me? Inventory. So, two diamond rings and a necklace. Two chains! Well, actually, I just have one chain, uh, as it turns out. And we go home. 
You know, I gotta say, like, after now, I would say pretty extensively playing The Sims 1, I still think that The Herbs is my favorite Sims game. I, it's just so, like, quintessentially Sims. Like, trying to get pot more popular everywhere. And, like, dressing like the people around, making friends with them, and then bringing them all back. I think that might be my very favorite one. Every time you give to ring, it's plus 25. On top and, but if long term. Dude. That's so much ring. Like, mileage. That is a way better way to... I bet you could make much better long-term friends, too, just by giving everyone in town rings. This honestly fits into the deep lore of my challenge, though. Oh my god, look at you. Just You are so outstandingly dumb. Hang on a second. Get out of there. There we go. Get that out of the way. Um, get this crap out of there. Whoops. There were some items in there, but... Nothing that we really need for the challenge, and we can pretty much buy it all back if we need it. Okay, cool. Robot Butler is actually working on everything. I'm gonna go to work today, and then at the end of the day, I can call back over Claire and gift her, like, multiple rings and a necklace. And see where that lands me. Is the robot... Okay, the robot is not having so many more issues now. Yes. Ooh, all the money and power. You still can't quash what nervous sense you prep some of your in information. There's something else you're missing. Take the time to find what's working. Oh, no. I was demoted, promoted to a uh, newspaper reporter. This does happen at the end of career ladders. When you get too good at a career, you get uh, pushed into another profession. Oh, well, we basically have everything that we'll ever need anyway. Uh, that is bad. I need to get back into a good mood the next day for work. Uh, and now I am... I have lost my good job. So we need to, like, desperately seek this woman's attention uh, before I run out of money. Uh, but... <laughs> Help! Help! Get out of the pool! You aren't gonna have anything left! <laughs> Alright, thank you. And let's give her a gift of a diamond ring and see how that goes. Here, I just found these diamond rings! Okay, so 75 and 70, what does that change to? So I gift her a diamond ring. Oh, nice, okay. Jesus, 95 and 80, you're right, that is insane. I'm just gonna give you another, guess what, it's another diamond ring. I have two of them for you. If that wouldn't make you completely happy with me in the short term, 95 and 80 goes up to 190, wow. So that actually raised our long-term relationship by 10. What about necklace? That raised it by another five. Do you like me? I've given you everything. Just hiding a ring and please talk to me about something. Okay, now we have red heart. I think that means like mega love. Proposition with marriage. I don't even think that I've... I don't think that I've kissed this woman at all yet. Will you marry me? I would never make a decision like that on an empty stomach. Okay, let's eat some food together. This is a thing in The Sims. All right, after I've peed myself and fallen asleep. Oh, yeah, you do need to, like, show them a good time at your house. If you want them to like you, I forget about this stuff. Oh, my God. Back for another day at 2 a.m. as a reporter. Here <laughs> I go off to work. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to leave on the TV for a little bit longer. Hang on a second, though. Have I got, um...
can I just turn that off for a second? I like the... No, actually, I do like the ambience. Ambiance. Whatever it is. But I want to turn off the TV. Until she gets here. The sound of the TV slightly annoys me. Little known fact. Now, like, there's no doubt that I'm skilled enough for just about every single job. Uh, I am a, a master skill man, but my mood is now just bad because I... I got demoted from being emperor of the world. Why would I accept that career change? All right, well, I've used magic and just spending a lot of money to try to make women like me, and so far it's actually working. Magic and money. Oh, good look, she's at a hundred long-term relationship now. Fantastic, wow. That's amazing. So, uh, okay, who cares about other friends when you can uh, you put all your social dependence on your partner? Uh, we will just continue with that more. As we go, we will eat a piece of this and then another piece. And that does nothing for me. Let's have dinner. We'll go to the bathroom. And she usually likes to come over around basically any time before like 11 o'clock at night. As long as my energy is good. Okay, now I will call her after I go to the bathroom and pee myself again. Uh, okay, uh, Claire Charming, call. Invite over. But I'll have more fun at your place. Okay, let's serve her dinner because we need to feed her before we propose marriage to her. Here we go, and... Woo, the food is ready. Uh, okay, great, so greet. I'm also just gonna turn on the TV. So let's eat a piece of chocolate together, and then I will propose marriage to you again. It's nice that they tell you what they want though. You know. Okay, I will also grab a plate, and I will eat over here because I didn't clean the table talking to you from over there. I'm going to miss work today because I'm going to try to pull a fast one on you and propose- No, don't! Please don't leave! Oh god, why? Why did I even try? One day she told me that she was too hungry to get married. Alright, I guess I'll go to work again. Oh god, that's so sad. No, she's not using me for my money. She's she's dodging marriage proposals left and right. Sorry, I've got to go. <laughs> Please. <laughs> um. Okay, me being tired can't ruin everything. You're not in a good enough mood. I don't believe that's a legitimate excuse. Okay, cool. That's working. Let's clean up all the rest of this. Actually, just turn on the robot butler. Okay, the robot butler is on. I'm going to serve lunch for when she gets here. The TV is on. Greet her. No, don't pet the dog. Don't be begged. Greet her. Bruh, please stop ca oh, he canceled my order again. Okay, I have to call her again. Here we go. She's coming again immediately, even though that I just avoided her for the last 25 minutes. And I'm asleep in bed now. It's okay, I do need a little bit of energy. Whoops, don't wave. Do something, like, more romantic. Romantic kiss. Or am I afraid? I might mess it up. What if I mess it up? I'll just hug her normally. Hey, just gonna hug ya. Will you bury me? Wow. Hey. hey. Alright, let's try it again. Uh, oh no, the marriage level has gone down to 99. Let's try... Oh, wait a minute. No, I have to get her to eat. I have to get her to eat. I'm really tired, but I'm gonna try to stay awake to eat. Oh god, my frame rate. Why is my frame rate? Now I've fallen asleep. Oh god, please. 
Please go to her. I, I want to get married to end this shit. Oh, this is so horrible. <laughs> Please. I'm running out of energy and. Wake up, wake up. Now she's falling out of love with me. Proposition with marriage. Okay, let's try it out. You've eaten. Will you marry me? Sometimes this doesn't work. Okay, so she doesn't want to get married. It's okay. Uh, what? Okay, well, at least that did cause her to go up to 100. So let's talk about her interests. Here we go. Now we're back up to 100 and 100. And I'll ask her to marry me again. Wait a minute. No, don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. I don't know how that improved our relationship, but somehow it did. Wait, no, don't go to bed. Don't go to bed either. Don't give up Slagathor. Oof. <laughs> please. <laughs> While you're watching TV, please marry me. Come on, we've got better odds now. 100, 100. It can't get any better. Am I too tired to get married? How can we never do any fun? Uh, we have to do more fun things together. Oh, maybe we have to watch TV together before we get married. Cool. Okay, we're having fun together. I fell asleep again. I'll wake up and then ask her to marry me again. She's in a terrible mood. Uh, okay, I've got to figure out how to marry her. Uh, hang on a second. Talk to her about her interests. Talk about interests. I send her an email in proposing marriage. Okay, we have eaten together. Now, this is what I'm talking about. I'm extremely abrasive. So, s even standing next to someone, they start to hate me more. Uh, it's really not an ideal situation. If we... Let's just pay attention to what she wants for a second. So she's trying to kiss me and that didn't really work out very well. Oh God, I've never seen it tank that fast. I'm gonna need more diamond rings to get her in a good mood again. Man, that wasn't even me. That wasn't even me. Let me try a romantic kiss. Cause I think she tried passionate and that didn't work. Okay, good. So she did that wrong. I will try an intimate hug. Wow. I'm like Casanova, man. All right, now we need to do something fun together, but we can't let them decide. Let's watch TV together. Don't we have fun like this? We love to... S okay, you have to go to the bathroom. You've met your animal needs. Now we're going to sit down together and watch TV, and we're going to like it. Shut up and enjoy. Don't don't talk about things that you don't have. No, don't talk about sunglasses and high heel shoes. Anything but that. Anything but that. It's 5:51 p.m. I'm saying let's try the pool. Let's try the pool and see if she gets in. No, no, she's going for another plate of food. Okay. Normally I would grab a plate, but I think there's no other choice now. We need to go back. I just proposed marriage. Now that she didn't want to get into the pool with me. I, I'm just running out of time. No, please stop attempting to passionately kiss me. Uh, that really didn't work out very well. Okay, try, just try at random. Okay, it worked. Somehow it worked. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows why? She attempted to kiss me, I didn't want it, but uh, we're reluctantly getting married. So begins the most toxic marriage of all time. She has contributed $19,000 uh, to the household account and brought zero children. And then I peed myself.
<laughs> Gets married. Peas. Oh my god. Uh, watch their relationship just fall apart. <laughs> Celebration pee. Yeah, to establish his territorial dominance. Oh my god. This is going to be the most toxic marriage of all time. Wow. All right, so let's see. Uh, we're going to need some more chairs. We do have a lot more money. Uh, okay, first thing I'm going to do, we've got more than enough money. We need we need very little else. We, we don't really like kissing. We're, we're not very physical. I don't think my sim enjoys kissing her. Um... What about her with me? She doesn't really like Slagathor. Or Slagathor doesn't really like her. She keeps attempting these passionate... Okay, there we go. Regular kiss. Now you're learning. Nope, she keeps attempting to kiss him passionately. This is going to be one of the most toxic marriages I've ever had in this game. This is an asexual marriage. I keep thinking about tragedy. For some reason. Who has to go to work? Okay, so what is her profession? She is a paramedic. Okay, that's good. 275 a day. She needs a little bit more mechanical skill. At least they won't be near each other for most of the day. Honestly, I think just like their marriage falling apart and then them getting like a very, uh, like horrible divorce. Like, getting into a very expensive divorce where there's a lot of litigation. I feel like that would be... <laughs> Am I allowed to... Oh, I need... I feel like I need something brighter than that in the end. <laughs> we've, yeah, we've gone down 40 relationships since getting married. Oh my god. Oh my god. You scope out the- yeah, this is not going to be a very good marriage. Oh my god. Somehow I feel like I've already kind of done it, though. I feel like I achieved the American dream, you know? I made the money. I got the wife. I got the, uh... I peed myself after getting married. <laughs> and then... I don't even like her. It's not even- I don't even like her. <laughs> she- we could have separate beds or separate bedrooms, you know? That is... That is true. I'm not sure it's a very good idea to have children. Let's try it anyway. Can we, like, somehow make them like each other? I think I'm going to have to buy more. I'm going to use all the money that she gave me. I'm going to quit my job and buy her diamond rings. Because it's just not really working. We'll, we'll go, um, I have a better idea. So instead, uh, <laughs> I think this is a good idea. Nope, I'm quitting my job. I'm quitting my job. Uh, we're gonna go downtown. We're gonna buy her more diamond rings so that she'll like me. Then we'll have a child. And then we'll get a divorce. And that's the way it's going to be. Let's buy a lot of them. We're going to need a bunch because we really don't like each other. Oh, look at this nice music. I'm going to buy like three or four diamond rings using all the money from the dowry. <laughs> we combined our finances and I used them to buy like 10 more diamond rings. <laughs> hey honey, I used your money to buy like 10 or 15 diamond rings for you. That'll get her in a real sexy mood. And then <laughs> like the most manipulative thing that's ever been done. There we go, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, there we go, $10,000 for diamond rings. <laughs> but like playing as Genghis Khan by having as many women as possible. <laughs> Here we go. As you know, after all. Wait a second. Go home. 
There we go. Okay, so where is my my woman? Um, the dogs. Uh, hang on a second. Okay, you can't just like get rid of the dogs. I just find that the dogs are turning into these like urine machines. All right, it's fine. Let me just get into a really good mood so that I can, you know. Okay, good. I lost my job. So I'm getting unemployed. She's bring well, she's going to get unemployed too. We're going to just going to get them both in a really good mood. How do you attempt woohoo? I mean, that's really what it's all for, right? <laughs> At least we have two. Nobody's talking about how nice it is to have two Sims to do the work around here. Why am I running everywhere? Oh, there we go. All right, so now we take Claire. Uh, we send him to her. Can we have him give her some of the diamond rings, too? Oh, wait, does she have the diamond rings in her inventory? No, she doesn't. Hmm. Could get them a hot tub, but they'll probably just dislike each other in it. Yeah, let's give it a shot. You're right. All right, the love tub. Get in. Everyone into the love tub. He thinks it's gross. He doesn't like his his lady. So she should get out of bed, get into the tub with him. All right, here we go. See, they don't like each other when they sit, sit next to each other. I shouldn't have married this person. They just grow more and more distant. They say, I really don't like any of the things that you like. Okay, just walk back there, though. I've never actually had this. Two sims that don't like each other. Give a gift. I'll just give you more diamond rings. Here we go. And give you another diamond ring. Here you go. Here's another $2,000 diamond ring. Wow. All right, so does she. Okay, but she's okay with him. So now, um, I, what do they have to get into it? Like a really good mood, so we'll just make a big meal for everybody. Whoops, uh, he's gonna make dinner for the both of them. At least we now have like group economics going on. She turns on the robot and he makes the meal. Okay, we no longer have friends. No, we're not going to try to, we're not trying to sustain this. This is the American dream. Well, I mean, it's really not going too particularly well. I've basically given up on the challenge now, but I, I'm curious if they can still have a child and then get a divorce. Right, so how do I have them woohoo? Isn't there like a specific type of bread, of bread, not bread, bed required? Oh yeah, we need like the love bed, right? I'm willing to sell um, some of the walls over here for this. We're not really going to attempt to build anything else. We're just going to start selling things now. Okay, they've got to be flirting with each other enough till they're in the mood. Thank you. Okay, so it, it does need to be the love bed. Okay, I, I'm correct about that. Yeah, I remember it being the love bed too. Man, it's so confusing to have dogs. All right, let's go ahead and take away the bed. We get out the love bed. There we go, love bed. Oh my God, that's hideous. Okay, so now they flirt with each other. They're in a pretty good mood, I guess. No, don't have the dog flirt with her. Uh, let's try... Romantic kiss usually is fine.
They're both in a pretty good mood. I could see this potentially working out. Romantic hug. Oh, come on. Should we have a baby? Okay, I don't expect that. Are they going to have it in the middle of the road? Uh, whoops, the baby's name is 111. <laughs> All right. Well, I need a I need a better name than Slagathor. We had a baby in the road by kissing. 111. <laughs> Whoops. Nah, I need to... What is something better than Slagathor? Slag... Eh, Slagathor and Claire... Roadkill! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Name them. Jernt. Jernt. <laughs> that is actually a good name. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm Dr. Nick. Thank you very much for the name. I'm gonna name it that. <laughs> Jernt. <laughs> Jernt. There we go. Baby Jernt. All right, now the child services will take it away. I'm just going to run out of money and keep giving her diamond rings to keep up our relationship. Uh, we do have to keep taking care of this child. Can we just move around the camera a little bit? Here we go. That's a nice view of Dad with the babe. Dad Slagathor with baby Jernt. Hmm. I will sing to the babe. Now, babies basically require constant, constant care, and they will drive you insane. All right, so now begins uh, another grind, which is going to be horrible, I can assure you. Yeah, just leave the- well, we're going to leave the child here. Look, I'm such a good dad. I don't have a job anymore. I spent all of your mother's money on diamond rings to make her like me more so that we could have a child. And now I have offspring. We will feed- we basically have to constantly take care of the child. Sing to the child. I am passed out now. The child is unhappy. It needs its mother. Wait a second, play with the baby. Don't go to work. Don't go to work. Sing to the child. See, it needs to be almost constantly doted after. We'll move the baby. Move the baby. Uh, although it'll wake us up if we put it in our bedroom. Well, let's put it next to the giant robot. And we'll put it next to the pool. Yeah, let's just leave it in the road. I feel like that's more canonically interesting. Yeah, see, it's learning to live like it's dad. Surprisingly, our relationship hasn't deteriorated. Can you get a divorce in The Sims 1? All right, now I'm just going to let their relationship... I'm kind of curious what happens if I just leave it, like, to, you know... To the wayside. Let their relationship fall to the wayside. Okay, the baby is being neglected. Whoops. Uh, hang on a second. Dad, go take care of the babe. Hang on a second. I gotta save. I don't want Child Protective Services to come kill me. Here we go. No, everything's fine. We're just keeping the baby outside to raise it naturally. We're not feeding it red meat. You know, it's going to... It's going to get all of its, uh... News from, uh, C-SPAN... We're trying to take good care of the baby and make sure that I'm just done peeing myself again. Why do I always coincidentally pee myself at every major life decision? I don't think that it's worth it, honestly, because this child is just going to go to the military school. It's better if they don't ever interact with one another, too, me and the wife. The babe is okay. The babe is silent. Where am I? We've both lost our jobs in order to take care of the child, and we're trying to get back our relationship. Let's see what happens here if they both get into their thongs. They don't have anything in common, though. 
Yeah, see, they're getting negative, negative moodlets. She doesn't like crime. She doesn't like. Well, I mean, I am basically a criminal, and I do. I like crime and money. And she keeps talking about it. Why move on to a different topic? Why don't you? No, you know what? It's the problem is not her. The problem is him. Slagathor has simply grinded too much. All he wants to talk about is crime and money, and she does simply doesn't like those things. That's all that they talk about. It just gradually deteriorates. The baby is crying. Someone go take care of the baby. There's dog urine all over the floor. The postmaster is just standing by and observing. Honestly, this is the problem with millennials today. People are entitled. They want too much. They forget that there's a, a child they're responsible for, you know? Of course, I, I am one. The uh, <laughs> baby, yeah. But man, I am a good dad. Oh, wait a second. Here we go. Sing and play. Sing to it until it turns into a human. It's going to destroy our marriage. All right, uh, cool, cool. Claire's gonna go to work. Okay, Claire has actually managed to keep her job somehow. All right, Dad, you quit your job. Take care of that baby. Stop sleeping in the love bed. Oh no. No, they're coming to take away the baby. That's my pee over there. Oh god, no! No! Jesus! Oh god, why? No! Give that back! It was only crying for like two hours! Oh god! The baby is gone! They've disappeared with the baby! Oh god! No, the wife is at work, too. They don't really care. <laughs> this is the downfall of the United States. More and more children are being sent into Child Protective Services. Now, I'm going to just keep giving her because I really have no social skills. And honestly, this don't get it twisted. This is a me problem. Like I I was a businessman. I got too good at it. I got too good at what I was at what I was good at at my calling man Now all I can do is make money. I can't raise a family anymore. I Felt like I was a good dad too. Hang on a second. I'm gonna get back in my mega pool. <laughs> I Like the narrative here. I know I know it's a little hard to follow right now, but in my head. It's all coming together. Uh, a second. I'm going to keep giving her diamond rings. Now, there we go. She's upset. She's tired. No, don't get in the hot tub. Give her the diamond ring, man. You have nothing else. You have nothing else to offer but your money. Quite frankly, it's sad. That's how, that's the way it goes. Sad. Mm, hang on a second. Well, I guess that's all she wrote. Uh, hang on a second. Looks like my stream just like died out there for a second. Looks like my and stream just like. Okay, there we go. It is back. Well, I don't know what to say, my friends. I mean, I could, I could go back, but I feel like that this is canonically accurate. I never had the time, I never had the chance, the real world was too hard. And, uh, honestly, in trying to make a family, I created a monster. I am a monster. And I will always be a monster, and I am a bad person. I need to... I have no social skills, and all that I have to offer are, uh, 
expensive rocks to other people. Uh, babies, babies cry when I take care of them, and I pee myself at every uh, at every major proposition of responsibility because uh, it's uh, it's a rough world. I don't know what to say. Yeah, sad. Anyway, yeah, my stream also died out because my internet has been pretty bad, but I wanted to try one of these things on Twitch. I thought it would be interesting. I think we'll probably go through with, I don't know, either like a shorter Sims 1 challenge because I do feel like you just start to hit some of the grindy elements of this game as you go on. Um, or possibly just go Sims 2 because I think Sims 2 is far more well-balanced. But yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. Anyway, thanks for coming out, guys. Uh, sorry, cut out there at... Like, the last important moment. <laughs> but whatever. A beautiful playthrough. Yes, the government has way too high a You know, in my day, we used to, uh... We used to be left on our own to walk both ways to school uphill in the snow. And we liked it. Yeah, you can't leave your kids in front of the house anymore. You know, standards are too... What if the standards... Are the standards too high? That's what I... That's what I want this video to be. A social commentary, man. A social commentary. I don't really know how else it could have ended. I, I think that's more interesting and funny as, a, as an... Uh, as an outcome. <laughs> I like the part where he needs to keep on giving the woman... Thousand dollar diamond rings with her own money that he's embezzled from her <laughs> to keep her happy. <laughs> that was my favorite part, personally. Oh my god. Anyway, I don't know what to do now. Everything just kind of died out. Um. Anyway. Beautiful, beautiful. Thanks for coming out, guys. I do appreciate you. I hope you, uh, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this. This is gonna be going up as a series of VODs and a video to the channel. And probably, I don't know, in the next few weeks or month or so. Uh, and yeah, this was, this is kind of fun doing a whole Sims playthrough here on Twitch. Um, but yeah, I, I like it because now it just gives me hours of footage to go back on and, like, commentate on. And there's actually, like, a moment from stream with it. And it, it's fun like that. But yeah, I think that's it. Um, who am I going to leave you guys with? Uh, let's go ahead and send you out to...